guys, so uh, if you watch my channel frequently, I did a video about ceramide products uh, several months ago. I talked about my favorite products with ceramides. I talked about controversy. Do ceramides actually do anything? A cosmetic formulist left a comment on Reddit years ago that has been discussed over and over again, basically saying that ceramides in your skincare products don't do anything. The positive effects you notice are from the other ingredients which is an interesting th thing to discuss uh, because a lot of people look for ceramides, but they basically said the ratios aren't, and almost every product aren't used properly and aren't beneficial. So interestingly, December 24th, Dermatology Times uh, came out with an article about a recent study in the Journal of, of Drugs and Dermatology discussing ceramides in skincare products and the effects of ceramide products on dry legs. So they did a study on people where they had people on one leg not put any lotions at all and on the other put this ceramide product, uh, which also contained uh, Cetera alcohol, Cetera 20, uh, caprylic triglycerides, and then it also included cholesterol, phytosphygnosine, ceramides, uh, which is really what they were studying. So they did this on patients, 26 patients, ages 30 to 50, um, and then... Uh, they also had a few patients that were 51 to 63 years old. So they basically wanted to tell if ceramides made a difference in the leg that they applied it to. So interestingly enough, uh, they found that the investigator assessment found highly statistical, significant improvements in skin dryness, skin texture, skin roughness, flakiness, radiance, and overall appearance on the treated leg compared to the untreated leg. Which is interesting. So are the ceramides doing something or not? So, I mean, just like all these studies, they have a control. So where the one leg, you would apply the lotion that contained everything but the ceramides. And on the other leg, it contained the full formula with the ceramides, with the cholesterol, with the phytosphygnosine, which I can't pronounce still, uh, to see if it made a difference. And apparently it did. So maybe ceramide thing, maybe they're all good like I was hoping they would be. Um, the patients also found that there's a statistically significant reduction in stinging, burning, and itchiness, which I notice a lot during the winter months. Uh, itchiness is huge because everything gets, gets so dry. So uh, they say they achieved a 60% reduction in itching, a 55% reduction in burning, and a 42% reduction in stinging and it continued throughout the four-week study and into a 48-hour regression period. So after the study was completed, they didn't apply anything for two days. And the leg with the ceramides continued to not have the itching and burning. Even after it was discontinued, nothing was applied. Uh, the d -Squame lipid analysis after four weeks of moisturizer application saw a 10% increase in total skin ceramide content. In the treated versus the untreated skin, there's also a 10% increase in both the cholesterol and free fatty acid levels, which are a good thing. It means your skin barrier is healthy, your skin is hydrated, uh, it's not going to be itchy, flaky, things like that. Um, and it reflects a significant increase in the skin lipid barrier content after four weeks, and these results were maintained after the two-day two hour discontinuation, which is huge. So you can apply these things. That means your skin is very healthy. If it doesn't need anything for two days and it's still not itchy, burning, stinging, dry, flaky, uh, it means the products are doing a great job because uh, especially with body products, I feel like it's uh, a lot to ask somebody to every single day have to apply this, but uh, it means your skin is healthier. It's resisting dryness. The barrier is working better. You're preventing trans epidermal water loss, which is huge uh, thing that causes dryness and things like that. The more water loss, the drier it gets, then you get itchiness, then your barrier starts to break down, you get flakiness, things like that. So uh, it also says these results and those from the Stradia Cornum Lipid Analysis are evidence for the benefits of using the studied ceramide containing moisturizer for dry skin, even in warmer, high humidity conditions, because it will continue to help your skin stay hydrated and prevent the dryness. So uh, this is pretty interesting compared to what we heard about uh, ceramides from the gal on Reddit. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. So I guess it's kind of like everything with skincare. You hear one thing and then you'll hear something the exact opposite from two different people that are all very intelligent. And I guess uh, that's what fascinates me about it because uh, intelligent people that know everything can disagree totally on something. Um, yeah, I, 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 
it's interesting. So uh, there's also been more studies on uh, light emitting devices, uh, LED devices for acne, things like that. So um, I've always been uh, kind of iffy about trying something like the NUA or the Nebulift, their radio frequency devices. However, there was a few studies or uh, art research articles written about them that show that they, uh, and some of these studies have helped prevent acne, help prevent, uh, help with firmness, things like that. So I've always been iffy about trying those devices because I never really found anything truly conclusive that said they're worth using, especially when they're $700, $500. But perhaps there is something to it. Uh, I mean, just a few studies doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it does show that somebody saw potential in it. So you know what, if there's potential in it, I want to try it. So and the LED uh, devices for acne, things like that. Uh, more and more studies are coming out on those too. So uh, it's interesting how technology and studies, everything play into everything we know. And still there's no silver bullet against aging other than sunscreen. So anyway, so those are my thoughts today. Interesting hearing from you guys. If you have any thoughts on it, I, I will link to the video uh, that I did about ceramides below and I'll link to this research as well and you can check it out and uh, I don't know come to your conclusions let me know what conclusion you come to because um, it's interesting to have two polar different opinions so or maybe in this study they did a, the proper uh, proper uh, percent ratios so anyway